Hello and welcome to Antipathy and D, a show in which a bunch of Australians play Dungeons and Dragons in a setting partly inspired by prehistoric Australia and New Zealand. And my, I'm I'm really low for my camera. I noticed that. I think you had an amazing run yeah. on that yeah. intro, and then and then, and then you, you were fell. you were like this. This is it the was first very funny. This is the first time this evening I've actually checked how I look on screen. So. <laughs> I am I am David, the dungeon master, showrunner of uh, this madness. Uh, I am joined as ever by my players, April, Kynwin, Doug, and Zindi. And uh, well, we last session we stopped mid combat because it was getting late. Uh, so we and are we actually were getting dead. We are about to uh, well, we dive right back into it. Uh, in summary, our heroes. Uh, have taken a job to help the Oceanic Trading Company clear Mercer's Pass of the source of whatever corruption has created the abominations that plague that region. Our heroes actually have had a pretty good idea of what was causing these things and were happy to come along and maybe help put an end once and for all to the presence of Gul'dag the god of chaos and madness. And what? after uh, fighting off some uh, bone strider, you know, a bone strider, a chaos stallion, and a dire protodon, uh, they've found their way to <laughs> uh, an area they've been to before, not since uh, I figured out it was session six that you went through Mercer's Pass. Oh. Or What's fi this one? Session five, f five and six, I think. Uh, we are up to, wow. good grief, I think we're up to 77, 78, something like that. Unbelievable. Yep. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Nice. Uh, so you, you're revisiting this area and Dagmar hopped onto her flying broom and decided to check out the hole uh, in which they previously conversed with the Mad King. Uh, instead of a mad king, they found a mad god, or the current physical yeah. manifestation of the mad god looking for all the world like a uh, donut kebab, uh, just chunk of meat with <laughs> tentacles and lots of little eyes. <laughs> I told you not to make the, me hungry. The most ill-advised donut kebab, and they're usually ill-advised anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, so this creature just takes it to a whole nother level. <laughs> This creature spotted Dagmar despite her uh, relatively good stealth roll this time. This creature just happens to be covered in eyes. And it uh, crawled out of its hole and combat began. Uh, so we've had, uh, I think, only two rounds, two or three rounds mm -hmm. of combat so far. Mm -hmm. um, already mm -hmm. one of your yeah. uh, infantry allies has fallen. Uh, uh, eaten away by acid squirted at it by this creature and oh, we yeah, are it's got alien blood now yeah, going to go straight into round three but first there is one thing i need to do which i forgot to do uh, turn the initiative back on last session <laughs> God damn uh, action. yeah because, didn't we because... didn't he say he didn't have lair actions no lair actions Thank God. Uh, but there are a few things that are supposed to happen when certain, there are triggered actions that have a chance <laughs> to happen. So I need to do a few rolls. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely feeling triggered. That's one yes. Okay. Uh, uh, so one of, oh, uh, one of the strikes against it with, um, uh, let's say it, it was one of the uh, grenadiers that managed to shoot it with a musket. I think one of them hit. Um, part of the uh, creature that is Gul'dag actually fell away. Oh my god. And it's in spawn. immediately Let's go. started. Like a, little, like a little baby? No. Oh. Um, this little mass of flesh with an oh. eye or two and something that might be a mouth and oh tendrils um starts flopping towards you just <laughs> <laughs> no ah oh, the baby the uh, baby the baby so i'll add it to combat and roll initiative for it 
Oh my god, I'm going to imagine this thing is making hilarious farty noises because that's the only way that I'm going to cope. <laughs> I, I am going to kill the baby, but <laughs> that is my choice. And uh, with uh, your ridiculous passive perception, Dagmar and hmm. Vitericus and... Not yeah, me. <laughs> just, just the two of you. Uh, you see that the bone striders that you had glanced in the distance are moving oh, towards you say hi. and they will probably what, what's going on in this initiative they will probably <laughs> arrive in 1d4 rounds i hope they fall in a hole yeah i won't tell you how many i just rolled i would like to put in a request for at least four rounds noted at least. Now, Vitericus. Vitericus, it is your turn. Yes, I think I've just watched Orsi get half melted, right? No, yeah. Orsi's shield got melted. No, no, Orsi got melted. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah Orsi took like half that many damage. Hit. I don't have that many hit points left. Yeah. Orsi, you so gotta Orsi stand was... behind someone. <laughs> A little well, bit I budget. had a shield, but then God broke it, so. Mm -hmm. uh, so I am going to move to here. Please crouch behind I, the dwarf. And, well, yes, I'm going to, to sort of jump behind the, the titan, <laughs> pull out my, not my Taraka deck, but my other deck of cards. Many cards. Uh, spin up the Ring of the Grammarian. <laughs> I'm going to use my Ring of the Grammarian for the day and cast Spray of Wards on myself <laughs> and my three compatriots. Yay. Okay, which, what is this a... Uh, Bastardization of <laughs> spray of cards. Oh my god, that's amazing! Yeah, mm -hmm. we all get ward spells. Okay, spray of cards. Why can't I say see find spray of cards in D and D? I think it's it's a, it's a UA, UA one. Yeah, UA. Let me let me screen grab it and I'll I'll drop it in the chat. That would be helpful. Um, Thank you. But basically, I normally spray a bunch of cards. So what, what Vitericus does is he flips all his cards and, like, throws them out to cover himself and his buddies. Um, and the cards sort of stick to you like armor. Oh, And start cute. to glow oh, a little. Like in all the animes when the... Thing... Like in all the animes, indeed. Yeah! <laughs> We're doing an Akryo Taisan, like Sailor e Mars. E mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh gosh, or or the, the more threatening ones that happened in Mononoke. So um, it's a, a third level spell. So I'll, yeah, I'll say this is going to give, uh, it's a 15 foot cone. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, it'll give uh, your allies, uh, let's say plus four to your armor class. Hey, uh, yes. huge. Uh, Very for nice. For how long? 19, wow, 19 AC. Almost as good. How do, I uh, do we just want to make it a concentration? For like a minute or something? I mean, yeah, it's good. no problem. That's normally a standard, so I'll, I'll concentrate on holding cards to all of your bodies. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Work. Oh, yeah. Um, can I catch myself in the spray as well and do sort of 15 feet behind me? Yeah, do, do, it, do it as a selfie. Yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fun. Uh, just give me an arcana check. Okay. Uh, the DC will be 15. If you get 15 or higher, you manage to include yourself. That is an 11, so that is mm. insufficient. Okay. It went over your shoulder. Um, so, Good. yes, I can't quite pull the card trick off to, to get it to stick to me as well. A few cards sort of fall uselessly to the floor. Uh, but at the end of that, with my bonus action, I'm going to... I still have one of my stories active, but I don't think it's a good one. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to look at Morzod, and I'm going to say, Morzod, go loud. Uh, and I'm going to give you Bardic Inspiration. You got it, Viddy. Got that Bardic. So I'm going to continue hiding behind the I'm going to have to go down there and the melee that thing, so... <laughs> yeah. And that is my turn. Mm. Okay. Uh, the line of Grenadiers are going to take their turn, and Gul'dag is now less than Gross. 40 feet away from them. Uh, that gives Where them a couple of options. Is it? You keep saying Gul'dag, but is it actually Gul'dag, or is it just like Gul'dag's uh, favorite pet? All right, give me a hmm. 
Make more sort of roll religion. Yeah, give me a religion check. <laughs> because <laughs> why not? <laughs> Just yeah, dying in the corner. For the end there, yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you were making that noise because you know my religion's minus one. Um, <laughs> well, shit, that was a 17, so it's a 16. That's, that's, a, that's a nice roll. Okay. You know, that is good enough, I think, for Morzod to sort of reason, um, hey, you know, Gul'dag obviously isn't using his old body because that's currently being mined over on Titan's Rest. Um, you think that this is Gul'dag? Gul'dag has built himself a new body and is inhabiting it. Uh, whether killing this thing will kill Gul'dag is another question, but uh, you are not speaking to an avatar. You are not fighting an avatar of Gul'dag, you are fighting the god itself. That is actually like him that. gurgling ominously in our ears. Yeah. Love it. It's like in the episode of Invader Zim, where Zim decided that organs would make him all powerful, so my he's just got as many was... organs as possible. Yeah, my housemate was telling me about that, and I never Zimmed, and I was like, are you fucking, what? One of the most disturbing episodes of anything I've ever seen. Uh, my housemate seems to think that that's what kind of got them cancelled a bit. Um, uh, yeah. Mm, um, <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Anyway, we were up to Grenadiers. Okay, the yes. Grenadiers. Um, actually, the Grenadiers are going to do what Grenadiers do. Move and forward. reload their revolver from their cleavage. They take out, they each take out. A grenade, an iron ball with a little wick, very much like your classic cartoon uh, bomb, mm -hmm. because that is what they are. They really are just, you just light the wick, hold and throw. Mm -hmm. it. So. Very heavy, difficult to actually lob one of those things. That's yeah, it's like a shot put. That's why they added the stick to it later on. Mm -hmm. That's a miss, that's a hit. <clears throat> Just reminding myself what good example. Oh, and don't is. forget, Dagmar, yeah. you're hasted still. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm speedy. Uh, now my die had eight at the top. Yeah, gonna... this will be the, the third turn of Dagmar's speed. So okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, there we go. Yes, that's right. Good, uh, good membering everyone who is not me. <laughs> uh, that is actually three hits because they are aiming for uh, the thing that came off Gul'dag. That's because fair. Because they realised they had the an baby. opportunity for an area of attack. Also plenty of, of nope. Attack. Yeah. Um, and fortunately none of them rolled uh, one, so there is Good. no oh, misfire. So and still. Mm -hmm. No own limbs lost. <laughs> Not hoist on their own petard. Man, what I give for a petard. Yeah. Okay. So, but then there would be opportunity for people to be hoist on their own ones, and that's that's that true. Not, yeah. I should have brought the dodecahedron with me. <laughs> oh yeah, did we leave the? <laughs> yeah, we the one time we just probably could have needed it. We left it. Not very safe. True. Yeah, even lobbing it would still flatten yeah. us unless we like. Yeah, we would not be teleport. able to get that. I can teleport. Oh, that's true. That's true. So these Actually, one grenade falls that. short and just explodes uh, harmlessly on the ground. The other three uh, cluster around the flesh thing, as I call it, and just blow it to pieces. You got chunks of meat and blood and bone flying everywhere, um, and it had bone. Man, that thing developed nice. fast. And. Uh, Gordag also took uh, a total of 27 physical damage from that. Um, nice. He'll have that back in half a turn. Or will he? <laughs> uh, and the Gren Grenadiers are going to use the rest of their movement to go back behind the pike line. Because this is what they've been trained to do. Good. Captain, Good for them for keeping their head. Captain Osmar Verdini is going to continue to use his musket. This guy. You do what you can, what you've got. Didn't he try to stab someone in the back, or is that crazy? He yeah, was no, he moment... got... He got, yep, yeah. he, was... he got, like, psychic damaged. He failed, though. Yes. Uh, an 18... Uh, his shot just buries buries itself harmlessly into uh, a pad of exposed fat 
on Gordag and seems to do no damage. Cool and gross. Orsi, it is your turn. Ballistic. I forgot if we established is health potion action or bonus. I don't mind either. I think it's bonus action. It's up to the dungeon master at this point. I think we agreed it could be a bonus action. Okay. I think. It's I'm saying bonus. Case. Okay. If that is the case, I would like to bonus action take a potion on. A. Just a regular potion of healing. Holy shit, a player remembering to use a potion. Yeah, I got him. Wizard T4 mm -hmm. plus 2. He's a Not a lot. Boy. I have six, seven, seven points of damage back. <laughs> that is nothing. Mm -hmm. um, seven, I would like to jump. Seven points of anti damage. That's right. Is that 5, 10, 15, 20, 25? Do I still get half cover, kind of, from the, the Titan? Um, from back there, no, you would not. Or back here? Yeah, that, that's close enough to it. Okay. I would like to pop a ball of lightning at Bulldog, please. Okay. Gonna that's... double check that. I really <laughs> hope this thing doesn't function like this thing we're fighting in Pathfinder right now. Well, hopefully I don't cause 10,000 babies to explode off it. Oh. That would also be not okay. <laughs> Thank you for that reminder. God damn it. Hey, man. Ninja Master's got to oh. stick together. Well, these rolls are terrible. Not a single new flesh thing. No spawns. babies? No. no babies. But, okay. We've got that Fourth little spider level. thing going on, and I'm not okay with this at all. Fourth level ball lightning, please. Make a deck save. Deck save. If he's resistant to lightning, he's not resistant to lightning. <laughs> um, so the, 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 this manifestation of Gordug is not very dexterous, and on his dex save, yeah, he rolls a total of zero. Nice. Oh, that is indeed not dexterous. It's very good to know. Three one is a two, so 35, 36, 37 points of lightning damage. Oh, 37 points of nice. lightning damage. I just said that. 38 points of lightning damage. I can't count. Three ones in there, gross. Whoop. Babies? I typed in the wrong number. <laughs> 380 points. <laughs> yeah. Yay, we've done it, everyone. That's right. Yeah. Somehow I, I, I removed 138 hit points instead of 38. <laughs> I'll take it. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, cool with that. Okay. Christmas and miracle. Now I will remember to do another roll. Nope. Still no little no baby. babies. Good. Good. And uh, that is Orsi's turn. He's just going to stand there and wipe the acid off him. Self. Okay. Gross. Dagmar. Yeah. Um, we're going to shoot the giant thing. Of Gul'dag. <laughs> At least once. Um, Only twice. So yeah, Dagmar turned off her acid damage last round, so we're just on piercing damage. Um, does a 25 hit the giant Ooh. blob? Very much so, yes. Alrighty. He may take eight points of piercing damage. Mm -hmm. And I think because I'm hasted, I get another shot. You do? Can I make, uh, before you do that? Yes. Well, that's a hit. Can I make a uh, friendly <laughs> dungeon master to rogue suggestion? I also do may I. have the same suggestion. Um, as a rogue, uh, you get the ability to hide as a bonus action, uh, which and yeah. if you sh make an attack while you're hidden, you get the sneak attack bonus if you strike. So. <laughs> To hide, you have to be in a position where you can, for example, crouch down behind uh, the edge of the Just Titan. And you are small enough that That's you could really. do that. Uh, so I could hide here because yep. I'm little? Yep. Mm -hmm. May I please hide? Please do. So, so bonus action um, hide. So bonus you're, action hide. <laughs> you are hidden, which happens, uh, and then... which happens automatically. Mm -hmm. uh, should I roll again? Uh, no, roll. you can keep that damage roll. That that uh, to I hit roll. So please roll. You're so kind to me. <laughs> please roll damage plus sneak attack, and then I will get a stealth roll from you to see what, how stealthy you were in making that attack. 
Okay, so that's 35 with sneak attack of piercing damage, and then stealth. Oop, I keep making mistakes. Maths. Stealth is a natural 20! Yay! Oh yes. Yes. Best ever good stealth roll. Okay. Yay, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> so. And now we'll just see... Yep, it never saw that. If I shot off yep. the baby. And Gul'dag uh, <laughs> rolls a 21 on perception. So Gul'dag does not know where that arrow came from. So you are still no, hidden. Is. You are still still. Ooh. Bless. Yay. What's giant blob for what the fuck? <laughs> Dagmar is currently like plastered to the railing. Just being like, oh. <laughs> All I of us it. pretty much pieced out. So now it's just more someone <laughs> standing there. Yep. I mean, this is what we do most times, unless Vatericus runs headfirst into danger. The rest of the world is like, where's a corner? I'm going to stand behind it. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised that he's not in one of its mouths yeah, right now, honestly. You brought cannon fodder with you, so you, you don't need Vatericus up front this time. <laughs> hmm. I'll uh, still end up there, have, guaranteed, but for will. now... We're rich enough to hire red shirts now. <laughs> we're, we're really moving up in the world. Speaking <laughs> of cannon fodder, Gul'dag is going to slop forward. <laughs> Watch out for that rock and hole. And does he have to walk around the hole? I figure he's probably doing that no face legs everywhere thing. Oh this is yeah, gonna like like the smooths from My Little Pony. He's just gonna go down. <laughs> I do not get that reference, and I don't think I want to. Delightful imagery. I'm loving it. Okay, so now. Three oh, actions, and I keep forgetting to use legendary actions. Oh, oh, Miss Garden. Legendary resistances Con too, if you want to fuck us over. Continue to forget them, please. Okay, so. First Damn. of all, uh, <laughs> Gordug is going to use its squirt bile attack. Uh, Ew. It's not going to go for Orsi this time, but it is going to go for Morzod. I mean, it would have to piss up and Don't over forget the... that you have... Uh, is it a save or is it a AC? It's, it's a save. Okay. Yeah, I got pluses to lots of things, though. So, uh, please Let's give me a de dexterity saving throw, Morzod. Dex save with my plus three, uh, which is already applied, I think. Yes, it is. Dex, you said. Do you have bless at all? Just uh, well, I'm wondering. Uh, probably that was a thirteen. I don't think that was good enough. Uh, no, even with your plus three from the aura, that is not enough. Uh, no. Uh, which reminds me. Bless, do I have that prepared? So, uh, Gul'dag, uh, 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 I did not. The more observant of you will have noticed that Gul'dag did not heal itself this turn. Um, oh. as the last of the radiant, radiant flames from Morzod's last attack uh, flickers away. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, Morzod, for failing the dex save, you take... What do I got? 34 points of acid damage. Uh, ow. That, if I hadn't have taken that health potion, that needle would have killed me. Mm. As uh, you are... Uh, coated in the same uh, dark green bile that recently struck Orsi. Morzod makes an orcish noise, which some people may recognise as, Oh, no, not again! <laughs> <laughs> and Gordag is now. Let's just check some ranges here. Okay, Gordag is going to... Are uh, there these appendages that... Uh, are flailing about, uh, suddenly shoot out and start striking the pike line. Mm. A pikeman. Um, the pikes. I... We love our pike oh. syndicate. Who have... Okay, their armor class is 16, just for me to remember while I make these rolls. And I can't decide whether I want to think of them as Pikmin, Pokemon, or fish dudes. Hit. I'm thinking Pikmin. Pikmin? But yeah. that will make it sadder when they get... Yeah. Oh, yeah. So but this one... They can one be the red Pikmin. ...takes uh, 21 points of bludgeoning damage, 
and he's Rough, sort buddy. Of down on his knees but still standing. That school dog's got quite the reach. This um, got hands. Well, the second hands, attack but... comes down and basically and just tentacles. snaps his neck as this tendril mm. uh, lashes him. Wince. And. That's a yikes from the team. The third one, a 16 just hits. It's a terrible damage roll, though. Only 17 points of bludgeoning damage to the third pikeman. And that is the end of Gul'dug's turn. Morzod. What do my spells look like at the moment? Because, like, on one hand, I should jump down there and melee him. On the other hand, he's nasty. You're a paladin, man. You got smite. I know. But I'm just the boys you've see right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. You can do another guy in bold. It's up to you. Do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, no, I, I, I need to get down there and man up and melee this guy. Yeah. Uh, Walk up. Yeah. Yeah, verily. So let me see. What was I? Have I got? Am I able to move my? Yes, I am. Okay. Now I've got to actually measure though. Uh, so my ground speed is 40 feet. So. You will get there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I can actually get adjacent to this guy. All right, let's do it. Uh, where's my select person? Okay, now, here's a complication. Yeah? Oh, because i got to hop over the dudes? Uh, not just that. Uh, they will let you past, and they're yeah. basically holding formation, and then this orc just comes... You know, yeah, running through with a absolutely war skillet. Absolutely, cry as well. Um, yeah, but as you come ah. within, uh, oh god, okay, yep. Actually, just as you jump over the skiff, you suddenly find all of your senses assailed by uh, the, oh, these horrible field. hallucinations. <laughs> as, as you Gross. suddenly see these creatures and mouths and teeth and eyes and uh, Pokemon. Uh, leaping at you. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and uh, this suddenly becomes uh, that difficult up. terrain for you. Difficult terrain, but all right. So... Can you please give me a wisdom saving throw? Wiz save. Let's see what we got. For a total of 28. Wow. Ooh. Okay, you succeed. He's a wise uh, boy. You immediately recognize the uh, hallucinations Fuck off, for what they are. And uh, you're able to move freely without being hindered okay. by these things. Yeah. And I don't believe in Pikachu, so you I can't are be hurt by it. <laughs> now immune to this effect for the next 24 hours. Oh, beautiful. Excellent. Nice. Can I, do I still see the Pokemon? Um, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, but. Uh, All right. That's messed up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All righty. Well, uh, now do I have. I just, do I declare smite? Before I forget yeah. No, this. you need to, so roll to hit, roll and to if hit. you hit, you can say, I'm going to smite, and then right. you can use a spell slot to smite. Okay, all right. Yep. All right, so I'm going to roll to hit now. Uh, and you just have regular divine smite, and you also have blinding smite. I don't know if that's going to work against the site. It's up to the dungeon master. Yeah, I got divine, divine smite, one spell slot, 2d8, extra radiant damage, plus 1d8 yeah. for it, which uh, if I hit him, I'm absolutely going to do. Um, all right, so let's see what we've got. That's 20. Uh, 20 hits. Good, excellent. In that case, the, um, I am... Mm? Quick question yes. before we get to the smite. Yeah. If Atericus's magical inspiration lets him add bardic inspiration to a spell damage roll, mm -hmm. can we bump that onto smite? Yeah, that's spell damage, I'd say. I so have if you no would like idea what you just asked yeah, for. Yeah, okay, so instead of adding an extra <laughs> D10 to your to hit roll, you yeah. can add an extra D10 to your smite damage off the back of Vitericus's Go Loud. Okay. So, so what So go what level are you going to do the smite at? Yeah. Uh, let me see what's left. But first roll your weapon damage. So, so I'm, I'm going to roll... Just uh, roll your regular weapon damage first. I know okay. it's a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my brain's... Oh boy. Uh, now, because I'm, I do the 1d8 plus 5, that's a 1. Ow. Yeah, it's still 6. Right. Total. Yeah. 
Yeah. So six. That's a bit we're worried about. Yeah. yeah. And now, um, what level do you want to divine smite at? Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna actually do it at first level. Um, because it's the radiant that I want. <laughs> um. So yeah, just so so that's first. an extra two d eight radiant damage plus okay. the is one d ten. Okay. So, how do I roll that? Uh, so just click two d eights. You can just uh, click uh, it on okay, the dice so thing just, if you I'll want just, to do yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So two d eights and one. One d ten. One d ten. D ten. That's a d one hundred. And I, well, I'd like to click that. <laughs> uh, let's let's see how this goes. Those were all ones. Oh. Oh! That's rough. But it's okay oh. because it's radiant wow. damage. So. He's going to struggle. And don't forget, you're a paladin, so you can oh, wait, get two I get, a, actions. I get a second attack, yeah. Yeah, two, two attacks. So, so I'm going to absolutely do that a, a second time. Yeah. Uh, so roll the, roll the, but the, second, the second one's 15. Does that hit him? Uh, 15 does not hit. No, okay. Hmm. All right. A valiant effort. Well, yeah, look, I pinned what I wanted to pin on him, and now I'm going to suffer, but it's it's fine. It's I will fine. Uh, also tell you that uh, it's it, it can be kind of hard to judge, but you think Gordug might be bloodied at this point. You think he oh, might be I down like to... I think, I, think, said that. I think he was bloodied the whole fucking time, <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> <laughs> now it's like in a bad w- way and for him. Now I am going to remember Shh, to use a legendary action. And yeah, now I'm going to suffer, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's <not> okay. okay. <laughs> Ron oh, Howard kind of from nowhere. <laughs> so many options here. See that? He's just. He's he's loving it and um anyway okay. kill our orc. Uh, or he's not ready to make that belt yet. <laughs> Morzod, can you yes. please give me? Hang on, why is it not telling me what kind of? Oh, yeah. can you give me an intelligence saving throw? Oh, rip. Uh, I can give you one, yep. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not the worst. No, that's pretty bad. Nine. <laughs> yep, that is a failure. Yes. Uh, yeah. So this is a spell called Feeble Mind. Oh, can I cast uh, the blood if it's a spell? No. Uh, this is innate. Or is it because it's a legendary icon? Yeah, you or... can't. Uh, because, partly Sorry, because it's, it's innate and because of it basically wants it to happen so it happens um, and that's right, the same buddy. it happens um, so there's none of the you don't see the visual you know verbal somatic material components I don't that, think Orsi you know, can tell anyway yeah, you'd be a fart noise <laughs> so, it's a big blob uh, Zindi I am sorry yeah. but Morzod's oh, intelligence man. and charisma become right. one as in, they both drop to one? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, uh, Morzod cannot cast spells, activate magic items, understand language, <gasps> or communicate in any intelligible way. Oh my god. The creature cool. can, you... however, identify its friends, follow them, and even protect them. Right. So you can, can I still... identify threats and run away? Yeah, you can. Honestly, it is up to you. Uh, you know it is a threat. You know who your friends are, you know, who your allies are. You can still hit things with a skillet. You can still move around. Okay. At the end of every period of time, I'll tell you when you can do it later, mm-hmm. the creature can repeat its saving throw. Right. Uh, there okay. are also other, uh, other ways to remove this effect. Mm-hmm. There sure are, and I don't think we have any of them. You have one. Do we? Yeah, I won't tell you though. We smack him on the front of the head. You can, but whether that'll help. So I mean, I have a pretty good <laughs> inkling what it is, but uh, the Pike Infantry. Um. Well, first of all, they all need to make some saves. 
Oh. And these are going to be wisdom saving throws. Uh, but they do have no nope, formation tactics don't help for this. Oof, natural one. So this oh. one is going to take. A certain amount of psychic damage, which is so the third pikeman goes down, um, clutching his head in pain and collapses, and blood starts pouring out of his eyes and his ears. The fourth Hi. pikeman needs to make a save. Uh, that is a failure. I'm just going to roll all of these other saves, I think, rather than keeping switching back between stat blocks. Fail. Fail. Wow. Fail. Uh, fail. And I've realized none of the pike in infantry can possibly succeed. Their wisdom is, uh, their wisdom bonus simply is not enough. Uh, what about oh, no. the Grenadiers? Same deal. They are all just going to automatically fail. What? Okay, Captain... Do they... Oh, they're not within 10 feet of me. I was going to say. They get plus two of their saves if they're standing next to me. Captain Verdini has a chance to succeed, but fails anyway. Oh, oh no. So, let's well. do some rolls. This is about to get real... Guardsman versus Chaos, I got a feeling. Actually, I think I'm just going to use that last roll rather than doing all of those damage rolls again and again and again and again. So. Yeah, all of these infantry take 16 points of psychic damage simply from being oh. near the manifestation of chaos and madness. And the good news is they're all still standing, but bad news is they probably can't take much more of that. Yikes. Ah, uh, but it is also now their turn. Oh. Um. I'm going to get shot to bits. No, you're right. The pikemen are going to advance in formation. And do what pikes do. So there is going to be some poking. And that is a miss and a miss and a hit. And a miss, and a miss. But that is a very palpable hit. The one, you know, this pikeman manages to deal 15 points of piercing damage, uh, which is oh, buddy. halved for reasons. <laughs> and roll to see. Nope, no new lump of flesh. It's a one in four chance, and it's only happened once so mm -hmm. far, which is a bit disappointing for me. <laughs> uh, but that is the pikeman all done. For Terricus. Oh, shit, are we back on my turn already? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, I have noticed that Morzod has gone a little slack-jawed. Maybe not from where you are. There's a, lot going, the there's a lot That's going on true. at the moment. Yeah. If I, I, if I, I jump I, up to here. Um, is, that, is that metagaming? Give me an insight check, please. Okay. Uh, passive insight is 23, if that helps. Uh, good enough. Uh, yeah, the first, that's a 30 he, on the inside roll. Yeah. So. To be fair, though, he was yelling orcishly when he ran down there, and he is still yelling orcishly. That's true. Like, <laughs> but just but as you... It's no longer glowing... Yeah, Vatericus, as you get up there, you can see Morzod is still standing there, war skeleton in hand, but 
he is looking about as if confused, you know, like, what's going on? How did I get here? Uh, what is that thing? Uh, should I be hitting it? Mm. I thought you said okay. I knew. I thought you said Mozo knew. Yeah, you're just working that out in your new right, frame okay. of mind. Thank you, you will yeah. be able to act, but the it, cogs are turning. You've been struck by confusion for a moment. Indeed. Uh, in that case, then I am going to cast the spell that you so gloriously gave me, Vitericus's soapbox. <laughs> That's a free action. I'm sure we've all decided that's a free action to get on the soapbox. <laughs> Depends on how he I'm uses going to it. Stand <laughs> upon the soapbox and declare loudly to the air, Kezil the Honest, I summon you. <laughs> okay. Um, sure. A genie uh, manifests next to you, Vitericus. Uh, let me just dive into the compendium and find. Man, we take him to all the best places. <laughs> Enjoy. Azil. I mean, God. Ulag. Yep. Actually, I should have the one. I should Not still nice have guy. the one I used in the Shifting Hills somewhere. Hopefully, he didn't die somewhere in the Wandering Isles. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm just into the volcano. Away, out of the office. He appears and he's clearly been in a bath with someone. <gasps> and <laughs> oh, <that's cool. laughs> I wish that their relationship is long and happy. <laughs> that's a good use of the wish. That's our wish. Perfect. Done. That's it. Yeah. And he says, um, uh, Yo. I come who summons oh bloody hell. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> uh, Kezil the Honest, Yikes. you still owe us a wish, and I call it due. Uh, I wish Morzod Grod Gubbins free from the cloud that hangs about his mind. Now and forever. Yes. And uh, he looks at you and looks at Morzod, and you see he's thinking of doing the are you sure and so forth, but realizes, yeah, time is precious at the moment, and says, uh -huh. yeah. it is done, and then vanishes back to wherever he came from. He wants no part of what else is going on around uh, here. That's fair. <laughs> that is fair. Although Just I hope on he the does. I hope he... Thank you. Good choices. Yeah. I, yeah. I hope he does still visit because Morzod's definitely going to want to thank him. So, Morzod, you are no longer feeble minded. You are back Right. To... Okay. That, that was that was brief and uh, yeah. <laughs> terrifying. And <laughs> the good news is uh, you do not, uh, you are not suffering from this condition for the next 30 days minimum. Mm -hmm. Glorious. Yeah, no, I had gleaned from the, uh, we we are sorry to pass on this news to you, Miss Grodgrubbins, but um, <laughs> kind of tone that you were using. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> uh, Clarity of mind good. that he's never had before. Mm. Incredible. Um, Although you, were... you could have you could have had Big Beast Morzod for a while and just have him like snuffling and, and looking at ah. your pockets for, yeah, looking at your pockets for apples and whatnot. And as part of uh, being cleared of the condition, uh, you also get the benefits of saving from the condition, which is you are now immune to, to the effect. Excellent. I got that genie, no feeble mind. Yo. That, that is Ooh. a pretty actually excellent thing to use the wish on. So I'm, I'm yep, cool. Now let's not die. Yes. Um, so, <laughs> action economy DM, how much have I used at this point? Uh, I will say you have used your action to speak and to, uh, not only to speak, but also to tell um, yep. the genie what to do and so forth. Um, okay. I'll say you do have movement and bonus action. Wonderful. I will use my bonus to yell at Morzod and say, Morzod, are you back? Is that, yeah, so, oh, yeah. Uh, can I? Am I able to? It's out of my turn. Sure, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Good. Fuck him up. Bardic inspiration. <laughs> Back to Morzod. <laughs> um, and uh, I am going to hop off the. <laughs> Back off the soapbox now. <laughs> Titan, and my soapbox will disappear. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to get to about there. I think probably just behind the grenadiers pulling. Mm -hmm. Cova Fenn's original mask off my shoulder and affixing it to my face. Okay. But he's going towards the giant 
Dwarf. Can you please give me a wisdom saving throw? Oh man, you see, do you see the Pokemon too? No, it's a six. <laughs> okay, yep, you, you are surrounded by uh, horrible hallucinations of uh, Pokemon, but they all have the face of Engadon for some reason. Perfect. Oh, bespoke. Yikes. Bespoke perfect, 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 perfect. You, know that, you know that acid trip section from the first, uh, the preview of the first movie where they're all like moving back and forth in lines and shit? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you also take 15 points of psychic damage. Oof. And oof. this is a uh, difficult terrain for you to move in. Watch out, I'm not moving grass. any further. I suspect I'm going to like press myself against this rock and hide a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The grenadiers are going to musket it up. With a miss, and a miss, and a miss, oh, and a hit. Man. There is a hit. Yay! Um, Yay. To not... be fair, those guys did just get punched in the brain. Yeah, they're not hard. tossing grenades yeah. because they're aware that uh, they now have allies uh, you know, in close combat with the thing. And Don't that... worry about that. Spray grenades anyway. <laughs> I mean, they will bounce off my pecs if they come. <laughs> they are but, uh... very disciplined. Ooh. Splash damage. Max damage on the musket, on the one that hey, hits. Damage. So that's 16 points halved. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. And... Man, if those guys... Dungeon, dungeon, dungeon Master, sorry, after you've done that math, I have a question. Yes? Oh, um, was Morzold hit? Did Morzold take damage? Oh, never mind. Morzold was feeble-minded. He's definitely dropped concentration on haste, 100%. Yeah, I don't think you yes. can keep yeah. Yeah. concentration. Good yeah, point. <laughs> yeah, no, no haste, no haste. Why and would you? As a result of the musket hit, that's fairness. Loop, a flesh mm. thing appears. <gasps> a baby. The baby. Uh, the baby is born. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Congratulations! It's, it's, a, ah! yeah. <laughs> it's a blob. <laughs> this is the best. Gender reveal party ever. And... Just blowing <laughs> shit up. It's about as fatal as the ones you hear about, so yeah. Pretty much. Let's start a forest fire. And mm. because the flesh thing, ha because its uh, initiative role is higher than the grenadiers, I'm going to say it gets oh. it gets to go now. Oh god, it just face huggers at him. Um, <laughs> so is it going to go for pikeman or mozzled? Got a lot of options there. Look at that. I will yep. do. Target rich environment. It's going for Morzod. Alrighty. You don't have any feats, do you, Zin? Come up. Did you take bro. any? Did you take uh, any paladin no, feats? No, I, I, my um, tame numbers guy feeds it all to my stats. Uh, so this yeah. uh, thing just flails wildly at Morzod um, mm -hmm. and misses twice, and so I think Morzod is just going, no, stop, don't, don't yeah, do that. No, keep, 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. Just sort of nudging it with his boot. <laughs> Go away. Okay. Uh, Captain Verdini is um, becoming visibly frustrated at, at you know, upset at the fact that three of his soldiers have fallen to this horror, um, but is going to, uh, he keeps his cool and is going to continue to shoot it. Um, oh, wait. I need to make him do a wisdom saving throw. That is a failure. So he is not so much keeping his cool. And, oh, just a moment. Um, hmm. I'm going to need to do those wisdom saves for the uh, grenadiers, I'm afraid. Hang in there, buddies. No. You can't do it. No, no they cannot. Uh, only a natural 20 will save them. Oh, they shit. They could. They could. No, you rolled all the natty 20s in the arena. <laughs> he rolled so many, it's rude. He used them all up, I'm sure. And we'll say that the gren grenadiers got out their last volley of fire uh, before all oh. succumbing. Oh. No, not him. All succumbing to oh. 
the sniper madness buddy. screaming in their mind. Not the sniper. Oh, Our sniper just died including, horribly. Including, including your friend, I'm afraid. Milo, oh, they all exploded. Ah, Milo, geez. no. Goblin the goblin. Wait, what was his name? Did we get his name? I don't know. We did, and then I instantly forgot it. Urgil. Me too. Urgil. 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 We no. hardly knew you. He was he my be, favorite. Can he be saved by his his uh, lucky messenger tube? <laughs> oh, hey, Captain Verdini actually saves on his wisdom saving. Oh, my throw. God, he's going to have oh, so much survivor's him. guilt. Yeah, he's going to have, yeah. like, a lot worse psychic damage just from watching that. So, so he's, be for days. he's now immune to the effects. Um, Perhaps worse, because then he's, like, competent and aware of what's happening. Yep, he has seen all of his grenadiers fall before him. and he It's is... far worse when you comprehend chaos. Uh, he is actually... I'm going to do a roll to see if he keeps his cool. He does not. He oh, pulls oh, his sabre. <laughs> Drive oh, me buddy. closer! 15. I want to hit them with 20, my sword. 25. And, yep, that is what he is doing. Uh, he has given in to rage and is now... Oh, 21 to hit. Blood Jeez. for the blood god. He's on it. Angry. Um... I would be too. 11 yeah. points uh, halved. And he actually gets the multi attack in melee. Nat 20. Oh. Hey, there it is. Oh, I could have used that. <laughs> Turn to go. If he kills this thing because it killed all his men, I'm going to be actually pretty happy. He's supportive of that. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And another hit. Mm. He's just lost his shit him. and is destroying Gul'dag. Slicing. Yeah. Get we in there, talked man. too much about Fritz and Devon and stuff beforehand. That is, however... And tomato sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> and nope, no more <laughs> flesh things appear as a result. Uh, that is Verdini's turn. Damn. Nice. Oh, buddy. Aussie. Um, a big act to follow. Please, deck saving throw. Uh, more lightning, I assume. Deck saving check. Uh, yeah, it's still maybe. Active. Or something like that, okay. <laughs> I don't know what else I have. There's I have a lot big... of lightning. Isn't there still a big ball of nope? Doesn't You're a lightning exist? wizard. I support you using lightning. I am a lightning wizard. You've got it all tattooed on you and stuff. It's your brand. He rolls mm -hmm. a 14 on a deck saving throw. Okay. Can I? I can see him, right? Do I? Can I stand up on the Titan? Yep, sure. You can. You can definitely see. You can cool. definitely see it if you climb up there, and you can move uh, back again afterwards. Sick. I can. I can hide like a big baby, which I am. Um, <laughs> like Orsi a wizard. is going to, like a wizard. Uh, Orsi is going to take a lodestone, and he's going to crush it in his hand, and he's going to spread the dust in the air and poke his finger through it and cast disintegrate at seventh level. Ooh. Nice. Is he under 100 hit points? Uh, yeah. I think he might die. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually. He's too big. He's going to choose to save. Action. I knew you were going to do that. That's why I didn't say anything. <laughs> Sorry. It chooses to save on its uh, dexterity saving throw. Does it still take damage? No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Okay. Because oh. it would have been 82 plus 40. <laughs> and I keep forgetting so, these uh, legendary DM, actions. Another weird question. Yes. Did it just succeed on a saving throw? It did. <laughs> Silvery barbs, roll it again. Hey. Because that triggers when you succeed on a saving throw, which you have just elected to do. I just want to I'll check you, the, the wording. <laughs> there's, there's so many rules flying around right now. If it fails to save and throw, it can when choose. When you nerds all get into this, it can choose <laughs> to succeed instead. Yeah, that counts as succeeding, I guess. Teamwork, come on! Oh my god, get him! That's this is another this failure. Is just a... This is just a slew of amazing <laughs> things happening could, one I mean, at a time. It, so to rules lawyer myself out a little bit, could you choose to succeed again? Can you double, can you use like, a legendary resistance? Would it just resistance? burn two legendaries, yeah. If, can you do that once in one turn though? I don't know. 
in in one reaction sorry. It is, it's simply a number it can do it a number of times per day that's the that's how the legendary mm -hmm. resistances work uh, it's so, up to you dungeon master i mean if you i will say yourself, you yes can do it. it is going to choose to succeed again on this next save uh, but you think it's running low on these legendary yep. uh mm -hmm. resistance <laughs> saves nice. uh the follow-up to silvery barbs is that morzod has advantage on his next attack roll nice excellent well if shit goes really south we're not teleporting out of here anymore guys <laughs> <laughs> good thing we didn't bring the dodecahedron uh anything else horsey he's gonna step off the titan ah huh. and as a bonus action, uh, he will take a potion of greater healing, please. Okay. That's me, and that's yeah. me. Yep. Four plus four. You have to protect against the Pokemon? Uh, no, he stepped on the I didn't get close enough. I imagine. Not close enough. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, back. 40. Yeah, back, not forward. Dagmar. North, north. It is your turn. Um, nice. Dagmar is going to pop up from... <laughs> her hiding spot and try and shoot it again with an attack of 19 19 hits hey and morzod and the good captain are engaged with it so but yet sneakies congratulations thank you <laughs> and plus 30, so they take, it takes 40 piercing damage. 40 piercing damage. Yeah. And no new flesh thing appears. Good grief. Nice. Uh, Dagmar is going to um, shout encouragement to everyone on the ground and then hide again. You got this. It's all good. There's no blessings here. Just, you know, keep, keep going. Um, okay. Gul'dag. Oh, actually, first of all, at the end of Dagmar's turn, it's going to take a uh. legendary action. Up to three creatures it can see. I can't remember which of you. I chose three of you last week, and I can't remember. We which. all saved. It yeah. was everyone but Morzord. It everyone was me, but Dagmar. Morzord. No, I, I did. Oh, maybe it wasn't Dagmar. No, I did save. Hmm. Um, I, remember, I, I think you missed me. Yeah, I remember being oh, relieved. Oh, that's it. Because the Tempest was behind we, us because he just won. got brain jizzled. And okay. then... So it is sorry, choosing... I but I, I, yeah, I remember being relieved that uh, you told us we couldn't <laughs> get uh, hit by that again. Yeah. Because you thought it wasn't have yet. failed so, and it was a plus three. So it's I need just Vetericus. Constitution saves from Vetericus. Oh, Captain Verdini... No. Is he close enough to Morza that he gets the plus three? He does. Yeah. Excellent. Vadini is, yes. He still fails. No. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> There's a six for Vitericus. I don't think okay. that passes. <laughs> and oh, buddies. I expect this leftmost pikeman is going to. F <laughs> Hang on. It rolls a flaccid 20, but that's not enough, I think. No, nope, Oh my god. Not. No. Oh, even with Morza's Thank Pinkies. Uh, so, now for some fun. This is... Is he close enough? Oh, God. Oh, but Tarkus uh, is all the way over there. Jeez. On a failed save, the target is poisoned, <gasps> which causes it to gain one level of exhaustion. Oh, no. You can throw the mask again. Okay. You, uh, while And this is mainly for you to remember, Doug, for mm -hmm. the Tarkus. Uh While well, poisoned in this way, the target must repeat the saving throw at the start of each of your turns. Three successful saves ends the, the state and removes any levels of exhaustion. Each failed save causes the target to gain another level of exhaustion. Oh my god. Oh. And it's cons the whole time? It's cons the whole time. And of course, once you reach, reach six levels of exhaustion, uh, you die. You die. Correct. Ah, die in the uh, game. But also, something else happens. Oh uh -oh. god. Uh, can you please roll 1d100 for me? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I don't know if really high is bad or really is that, low is bad. That's me rolling the d100? Yeah. I have rolled a 48. I am unsure of the extremes, and I have shot for the middle. 
Love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. This, okay. Okay. 48. The target's arms and legs switch places. You now have no. your arms coming out of your hip and your oh. legs are coming out of your shoulders. <laughs> that is oh, not no. okay. Uh, so That's... you're now unable to move unless you crawl. I don't know. Perfect. What if he's really good at handstands? And Which direction is... are the legs going in? Um, and I'm not even going to speculate on what is going through Federicus's mind at this sudden oh, change. Oh no, not again. And it's not great ah. with all the like angered on Pokemon pointing and laughing at his swapped limbs as well. Like this is just not a good day. We're back in Mercer's <laughs> Pass and it's shit again. Yeah. Does Doug need to make a concentration save on his ward spell? Uh, I didn't take any damage. Valid. Valid. <laughs> you are panicking slightly. Maybe it's true. just the one thing that he's focusing yep. on at the moment. That is fair. Did not it's take the one damage. constant in his life. Grounded. Grounded. The war. Grounded. My All arms may be legs, but I am concentrating. Yeah. Just heels pressed into my forehead for some reason. Just like, the cards, the cards, the cards, the cards. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, I need you to do... You are some cursed Tumblr meme right now. Uh, so one of the pikemen, Captain Verdini, also have the same problem. So I need to do some rolls for them. So oh God. We'll roll 100. Or Captain Verdini. That's an 89. <laughs> um, Is every number something? Jesus. Morzod, you see Captain Verdini. Um, his wings, his ears turn into wings. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, and he actually okay. he's, he's lifts anime. off the ground and starts oh. flapping. Oh, God. They're, they're actually strong enough to lift him? Yep. Magic. Wow. This I is... had ear muscles. That's impressive. Good for him. Wow, that's beautiful. And for the pikeman, a 26. Wow, got a theme happening here. Um, a pair of leathery wings um, oh. come out of the back of this pikeman, and he is now flying. Huh, this is turning into away. a real devil man crab baby mm. uh, But it oh. is now Gordug's turn. Uh... So, uh, that is going to be, yeah, it is going to make three lash attacks at, no, it is going to actually go for the captain first. So three lash attacks on the captain. 21 hits, hit hit ah 17 do, points do his ear wings save him no nope, sadly not oh god well at least he tasted flight before his horrible death his demise in fact like the... Icarus he flew too close to the chaos god second <laughs> hit is enough to send Captain Verdini to the ground and just pummels into the ground. So the third lash attack is uh. going to go to Morzod. Oh, what? It doesn't just, like, turn Verdini into dental records? Your AC is, like, 24 at this point, though, Morzod. So yeah, dude, you're, right. you're popping now. Yeah. And it only rolls 22 to hit, so it well, does not hit you. There, there we go. It, it bounces off my packs. Can can I, the back being like, the cards, the cards, the cards, the cards, the cards. Can I also get a deck save from you, please? Uh, Dex save. Oh boy. Okay. All right. All right. You can do this, Mozart, my boy. Nineteen. Uh, you have advantage on that as well, by the way, because it's oh, your barb. It's, it's just the next thing roll. that happens. And so, yeah. attack ability roll. And you get plus three and because plus three. of your aura. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So you can roll good? again if you want. Uh, you are good actually because uh, mm -hmm. twenty-two saves. Mm -hmm. Uh, awesome. But you don't have the, the advantage on attack anymore because that's, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're able to dodge out of the way as mm. uh, more of this bile is sprayed uh, towards you, um, but you mm. do not take any damage from it. No, I'm glad I got my brain back. Uh, Morzod, it is your turn. Right, I am going to hit this guy. Okay. I'm determined to. <laughs> uh, let me see. 
I think a 29 should hit him. Wow. Yes. I am fucking Lovely. smiting at third level. In fact, you know what? I have a fourth level. Hey. And I'm absolutely using that. Roll, roll your regular attack damage first and then do the smite. It's okay. just easier to keep All it separate. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, that's a, that's a one on the uh, regular attack damage. Cool. <laughs> and then for that. And 5d8 radiant. And five, a d10 because Bardic is still up. Because I gave it to you six. again before I went nuts. So hang, hang on, hang on. Uh, how, how many d8s? Uh, it should be five. So it's one d8. So it's two d8 at first level and then an yeah. extra d8 for every level above that. So two, two three, and then four. three, four, five. But I'm casting it all the way at. Uh, you can't level. do any higher than 5d8. Five d8. Five oh. so you've, got, you've got 5d8? Yeah. Okay, all right. Plus and the one d10. d10. Okay, so 5d8 and a d10, uh, and, and a d10, and let's roll the bones. 24. Nice. Ha. <laughs> With the 24 points of radiant damage. So Morzod brings the war skillet down again onto the pulsating mass of meat standing before him. And then it, the war skillet sort of lodges itself into a chunk of this thing's mm -hmm. flesh. And Morzod, furious with, uh, a rage that came out of momentary, momentary, uh, unintelligence, you know, feeble mindedness. He is absolute you know, wild, but moment. has absolutely lingered into his, uh, no longer feeble minded state because he is furious about everything that has been happening around him today. Um, and channels this divine power of Bruin Lach, uh, through, uh, from, the core of his soul through his arms into the war skillet and this bright beam of light starts to grow and grow until eventually there is an explosion and this column of uh, meat just splits open uh, and falls oh, apart um and Gul'dag is defeated yeah. um and as it falls, you hear, you suddenly hear, uh, uh, the distant chortling and laughter and crying that you've uh, been hearing as, as the bone striders and other creatures approach, you turn to horrified, agonized mm -hmm. screaming. Um, the flesh thing in front of you suddenly starts writhing and, and twirling and spinning. Um, as all of the creatures that had been distorted by the will of this creature uh, are no longer held together by Gul'dag's will. And it takes them not long, it doesn't take them long to die, but it is a horrible death that all these things endure as the uh, impossibility of their physical state catches up with them. Oh, does that include yeah. the Terrigus? Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and it's okay. Restoration, restoration. We'll be fine. There are screams all across, uh, the valley, which, uh, only last for about, you know, six seconds or so, um, after which a deathly silence falls. Um, and you look around at this, this ghastly sight of your many fallen comrades. Uh, and only the Pike Infantry have survived and only just. Um, oh, nice. They would have uh, most likely all fallen um, by the end of this turn uh, had Gul'dag not fallen first. Uh, so with that, I think it's time to take a break. Um, so uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a moment. We are back. Thank you for waiting with us. Now, uh, our heroes are in Mercer's Pass, surrounded by the uh, 
grisly remains of their hard work. The uh, mound of flesh okay. that was uh, the manifestation of Gul'dag, god of madness and chaos, and uh, various chunks of him that had fallen off and also tried to attack and also failed, um, as well as the uh, withered, withered remains of the creatures, the abominations that had formed as a result of his aura of madness that had spread throughout this uh, valley. Unfortunately, they are also surrounded by the bodies of the troops of uh, many of the uh, uh, contingent that had joined them from the Oceanic Trading Company, including Urgil, the sniper, and Captain Osmar Ver Verdini. Uh, who had led the charge and recruited our heroes to this fight in the first place. Is uh, he dead? He's dead. Yeah, he, he dead. Yeah. We'll uh, never know his secret plan. Um, I'll actually say he went down uh, on this turn. Oh, are we buying? So, uh, which back. means, and I'll just double check, I don't think he actually took enough damage to insta-kill him. Mm -hmm. Oh, work. Because they're yeah, removing fire as long as it's within a minute. Laying in an extreme amount of bane. Um, does he want to come back? all his mates, right? Yeah, does he want to come back is the question. Does he have a family? Did we ask? We didn't. We don't usually. <laughs> we never do. So, uh, no, not our, not our problem. Because he is a named character, and this is you know, a, a conceit of D&D &D where characters you care about uh, get to make death saving throws. Um, mm. characters, you don't just die. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will say he is, uh, he is not, he, because he hasn't taken an, enough damage to instantly die, uh, I will do his first death saving throw, um, which he succeeds. Uh, so oh, look. he is unconscious and bleeding out. Um, no. No, come back. <laughs> but sorry. Uh, uh, it is up to you whether you want to spend some healing on him to bring him back. Obviously, he's nowhere near anybody, so yeah. he's got no. Dagmar is still very much behind the railing. Kind of. Obviously, he's just gonna jump into he's the fight. Fall. Dagmar, Dagmar, are you still okay? Uh, physically, yes. Right. You? I got. I did get a lot of acid on me. It wasn't great, but I'm fine now. I saw that. Good, good. Metericus! Should, yeah, where are the others? We're going to poke our heads over the railing, please. Mm. As Vitericus fails another con save. Yep, that is not high enough. So is that another point of exhaustion straight away? That is another point of exhaustion cool. for you. Is that two? Is that two now? That is up to two, two points of exhaustion. Oh, Viter we need Vitericus, to... are you okay? Are his legs and arms still like that? Uh, no, the... Okay. Warp, uh, the okay, warping so has switched icky. back. Actually, let okay. Me... Let me check that because that'd yeah. be funny a little bit. Uh, I mean, it, uh, no. Um, the warping will end uh, when the trans uh, when the when you successfully save. Oh, so he still has. So he things. is still a hideous, um, terrifying. Uh, okay, well, human not, not who bad. also happens to have legs for arms and arms for legs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, so I would him. imagine that if you are actually looking for me, you'll find me like on the ground crawling around with my like using my shins to uh, drag myself uh, around. Oh, the directors keep talk. <laughs> oh god, uh, what can I do? Intelligence. He's still got, How do we he's still got, that? He's still got the How mask on that? as well. Oh yeah, so there he's are chunks of the mask at this the point. Mask. Not oh, yeah. <laughs> Can we make any sort of check to try and help him out? Yeah, um, so is there heelsies we can do? <laughs> we haven't even gotten off the Titan yet, but okay. we're just looking for it's like, how can we help? We're literally uh, standing over the railing looking down at him. Uh, Captain Verdini fails uh, a death saving throw. I thought Morzord Jeez. was handling that. I was <laughs> waiting for you guys to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
I wasn't aware that time was progressing yet. I love this uh, picture of us all looking at Batericus and there's a guy just bleeding out next to more talk about this. Stand. No, see, I needed and to the ask field a of question. Corpses. Yes, go ahead. Oh, because, so like, I can pull him up with a revivify or can I stabilize him? What? He's not, uh, he's you not can, dead. You, don't you can stabilize him. Uh, okay, so you can just, I wish to do that. Yeah, you can just lay on hands and he is yeah. now stable. He's fine, yeah. yeah. That that is that is what I wish to do. Um the uh so as as you do that, um so a couple of the pikemen who are near you were uh in the process of checking him and to see if they could do anything to help, and as you heal him up they thank you. And the other mm -hmm. pikemen have rushed to their colleagues to see when he, whether any of them are still breathing. Have these guys seen like war before? They have fought and and defended and, and so they are hardened veterans okay. um but this is mm. yeah uh, this is nuts this is a a, a cut beyond uh what mm, they yeah. are but but, but they have seen. seen death yeah okay but real plain beyond really. that's something um so uh the, the pikemen are now uh yeah checking their fallen colleagues and will discover that none of them are breathing oh, that's rough is that time for another con save for me Yep. Oh, can we give him advantage? Dag Dagmar will jump off the Titan and and there, try and be is there, near Vitericus. Is there any kind of blessy palad anything I can do? Probably greater restoration if you have it. It's That's kind a of sixteen. Not can enough. Can we get a healing I've got, potion down him? I tell you in advance, of... it is a DC twenty save. He's a con oh. save. I don't know if a healing Ooh. potion's going to help Ooh. that. Boss on! I've how, do, how do we, how do we, how do we deal um, with this? At this point, I am fumbling at my neck with my I don't feet. Have, I don't have anything big. Dungeon Master, can I make any sort of intelligence check to get any sort of understanding of this nonsense? Uh, make it a medicine check. Awesome. Medicine? My medicine's not bad. Um, three. I will say, Morzod. Yeah, Morzod races his way over there, having uh, stabilized what's his dick. Yeah, Morzod, you do have a, a second level spell that ends poisoning. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to do that then, for it's sure. It's called Lesser Restoration. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, that was what I was trying to get in edgeways between you guys. I do have that, and it's prepared, yes, and it's right lesser here. Lesser Restoration is the one we need. <laughs> okay, cool. Do whatever the thing you need to do is. Yes, I'm going, is... I, I do that. I cast Lesser Restoration. So yeah. as... Um, Vitericus, you're sort of pulling yourself around on your knees, and uh, Morzod rushes over. Um, I'm ready? Does he put his hand on you or just slap you across the face? Ah, uh, look, it'd probably be a grab and shake at this point. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the mask on, right? And grab him by his wrists, which are his ankles, and <laughs> I, I, I don't think you should be touching him when he unwarps. Yeah, well, I like the image of pick up, shake, and it sort of shakes him into a blur. And when the blur disappears, <laughs> the limbs <laughs> are back, back where they're supposed to be somehow. Yep, shook him, shook him back normal. And you are no longer poisoned or exhausted. Billy, Billy, Billy. Uh, does the exhaustion disappear, or am I? Yes. Your yeah, cool. exhaustion okay. points are gone now. You are back to being fully. Uh, Rested? No, you're not fully rested. You're not very happy at the moment, but mm -hmm. um, you no longer have any points of exhaustion. Ugh. Is it dead? That? Yeah, fuck? yeah, yes. Right, I'm going to drop spray of wards and collect all the cards. Oh, good job. Oh yeah, thank you. Those were great. They're just going to sort of fly back to my hand and stack up quite neatly. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well. I think that was probably what we were looking for. Yeah. Um, that was what, like a piece of Gul'dag? I think that was... Winston. What was left. Sorry. <laughs> we can't Winston. start using his name just because he's potentially dead, right? I think, I think, I think that, was, that was actually him. Oh, do you think? Like, literally? I th like I all of him? Like, not just a chunk? Well, a lot of the bit was left. I mean, aside um, from the, what they're sticking up. Uh, Orsi, please give me an intelligence check. I'm good at those. <coughs> I rolled a five. 
Ooh. Sorry, I was just having a rough time right now. Yeah. I got a nine. A day. Hard to say. Yeah, I don't. I'm not good with gold stuff. Um, Historically. Is the rock still there? Yeah, I'm stumbling over to the pit that we found the bone farmer in looking for the, the carved rock. Yeah, oh. uh, it is still there. This is it rock there? that you can... Now that you sort of know what you're looking for, uh, this is not rock. It is ivory. It is titan bone. Mm -hmm. It is a chunk of the know. head of Gul'dug, of the skull of mm. Gul'dug that was blown off. Um, and it has the symbol of Gul'dug, which you now know to be the symbol of Gul'dug, carved into mm. it. Um, mm. And uh, Captain Verdini... Uh, Yeah, he wanders over. He wanders over to it with you, Vitericus. He was trying to work out what's caught your interest, and he looks down and he says, "So that 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 thing that's associated with this shrine?" Uh, yes. Yep, that's the one. Um, he says. It looks like Titan Bone. That was my theory coming in also. Um, how do you normally destroy it? He says, uh, on Titan's rest, they have the, uh, uh, the furnace, the furnaces that they use to um, burn off the scraps and produce adamantine, but, uh, the heat that uh, is required is is immense. It's not something that we can create, I think, with any of the tools we have available to us. We um, could try blowing it up. We'll see what we'll at this point. I feel like we've all wandered over to this point. With, with gold and gone, does the... I mean, the bone itself still carries the essence of being a titan or a god, right? Like, it's not going to lose its sparkle. I'm not leaving this thing here. It no, 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 no. I'm just wondering if all that like... time now suddenly doesn't work or something like that, right? Wouldn't that be weird? We have to, like, dodecahedron it without the dodecahedron. I mean, I could probably try and disintegrate it. I don't know if it'll work, but... It is worth a shot. I need to sleep on it. I'm oh. a little tapped. Yeah, that giant green beam that I flicked later that did zero damage. I'm pretty sure it's pretty nasty when it works. So, Oh, I look forward to seeing that. If it that works, I don't know. Maybe it's only heat. Who oh, knows? I hope that he doesn't have to cast anything. Captain, that... when, you, when you mine the Titan Bone, what do you need? Um... He says, oh, it has a consistency uh, actually not unlike solid steel. So we need a very strong, I mean, I'm not an expert. You know, I'm mm. not a miner. Uh, but my understanding is that... No, he's definitely old enough to buy his own liquor. Uh, my yeah. understanding is that there's much more to it than just you know, chipping away at stone or, or producing iron ore or anything like that. There's a um, a lot of effort goes into almost cutting it into blocks that can be removed safely. Um, so for this thing, I know, uh, explosives have been used to clear areas in Titan's Rest. Uh, on the cart, we have a, um, a powder keg that we could possibly use for that. Oh. But I'm not sure they would actually, or would that simply disperse it is my concern. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like probably breathing in all that smoke for one on Titan Rest is doing anyone any good. I can confirm it did me no good. No. Well... What do we do? We could shrink it and 
keep it in a pocket dimension. I right. am going to yeah. pull out my vial of holy water. That thing is real cursed. Uh, hop down into the pit and sprinkle a couple of drops onto the rock or the, the titan bone to see what happens. Okay. Uh, it is like uh, dropping acid onto rock. Um, oh. It starts to sizzle and an acrid smell reaches up. It's not sort of going through it xenomorph mm. style, um, but yeah, holy water. Uh, yeah, this thing does not like holy water. Ooh, yeah. we've got like six whole vials. That's interesting. Hey, perhaps me and Morzord could work together and we can infuse our magic and we can make a holy bomb. Hey, Morzord, that'd be fun. Oh, that's cool. Sounds interesting. I don't know how it would work, and I think um, that'd take a lot of vodka. I oh, pers personally, okay. I love this idea. <laughs> Uh, I don't, mm, I've, mm, I don't think we need any holy water to make a holy bomb. Please don't. We don't. Well, we, we already have the holy water. No, it's, it's fine. I'm talking about magic, not pee. Okay? <laughs> not pee, it's filtered. It's holy. It's filtered through a bot sort. <laughs> I don't want yeah. to. <laughs> like a quandong seed through an emu. I mean, this kind of magic hasn't been done before, as far as I know. It could be a good project. I sort of... I don't want to say anti-god, but you know. I mean, I could, I, I, I can point only in directions. That's that's sort of paladin cleric kind of thing. Yeah, use use radiant magic. I can yeah. make magic into concentrated little balls and hock them at things. I've done it once with fireball into lightning. I don't see why I couldn't try with radiant with your help. Yeah. Yeah, you just sort of make it make it bigger, I guess. And radiant. It's going to take a long time, though, so I don't know what we do in the interim. Well, I mean, I guess it'd be a bad idea to assume that this ain't going to do anything while we're not looking. Totally water can you bless. Could we perhaps fill the pit with water and then just bless it all? Uh, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying drink the water. I mean, can you stick your hand in it and like do a really thing and make it holy? Can I no, get? Is there, um, is there a spell for that? I don't. I Who will knows? get either, and this is from everybody. Um, intelligence or religion checks. Pick your poison. <laughs> I'm not saying say religion. I'm just gonna do it. Add it, Because we'll uh, right, eighteen. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Oops, sorry, you went the wrong way. Four. Uh, Seventeen. Nice. Intelligence. Can't even find it. There we go. <laughs> hmm. Six. Okay. Orsi and Morzod. Let's go. Orsi and Morzod. Um, so wow. this landscape has changed in just the past five months since you last saw it. Five or six months. Uh, you also know a few things. You know that uh, Gul'dag was destroyed some 783 years ago. Um, but the gods... The gods only awoke about 60 years ago. There is therefore a question mark. Um, has Gul'dag been growing and simmering here for the past 783 years? Or has it only taken 60 years? Uh, either way, um, it is possible that it has taken, you know, it, even on a con conservative scale, it's taken 60 years for him to get to a point where he could build this body. Um, so the question of whether Gordag is likely to achieve anything even remotely similar to this of overnight is very unlikely. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely not worried about overnight, but definitely worried about people getting their hands on more Titan bone. If some want people to have it. I don't know, Tericus, what do you think? Um, Question DM. Well, sorry, go ahead. And then uh, uh, Captain Verdini is actually going to say, <clears throat> um, he, he's going to say, I have to say I agree with you on that point. I need to... I've not been fully honest with you. Uh, 
And it's partly because I did not know I was not being fully honest with you until just last night. So my mission and the mission I passed on to you was to clear Mercer's Pass, make it safe for traffic. I had, my mission had an extra additional scope to it, uh, which I did not discover until I opened a letter last night from the company. Um, I destroyed the letter itself, but uh, the gist of the message was that uh, the governor of Titan's Rest had become aware that there might be a source of Titan bone in Mercer's Pass, and my instructions were to secure it for the company, or to, at the very least, to prevent anyone else from making a profit from it. Oh, we don't intend a profit, so that's fine. Yeah, I we am can definitely stop that. Having seen what I've seen, if there is a way to secure this Titan bone for the company, I choose not to take it. I think it is better to destroy it. Do I do an insight check just in case? Go ahead. I'm not good at this. I, I, yeah, I mean, he, he seems legit. 16. Always got to check. 16. Always got to check. The 16. Better turn that stank eye. He does seem legit. Okay. Uh, he is, oh. I mean, there is no doubt that he is genuinely horrified by the experience he's just been through. Mm -hmm. Valid. Mm -hmm. Fair. Right, can we, well. Can ahead. we load it onto the Titan? How heavy do you think this is? And you're not sure how yeah. deep it goes at the moment. Mm. Yeah, that's a kind of an ice I, structure. I don't have any shrinking magic on me, unfortunately. Sort of thing Sorry. your fiance would have. No, uh, it's Captain, more like hiding magical things. Yeah, Captain I mean, Ver you, that's what I was thinking. You hide it, you make it smaller. Captain Ver Verdini says, that, yeah. uh, he, he says, uh, you said that if you can rest you can then try disintegrating it is that right yes i need to to well, down you like a holy disintegrate i mean yeah i suppose i could work it's it's going to take a lot longer than 4 hours for me to completely rewrite magic though so disintegrate might work should we should we sit down maybe 4 hours we should be able to do it go and Go into the mansion? Can, can oh, you Oh, wouldn't that be lovely if we had a seventh level spell that I could use to cast that? <laughs> right, okay. So we're camping. Yeah, we're camping. All right, that's we're doing right. the bubble. That's all right. Okay, you'll do that. And I guess um, we'll start Should... dealing with the body? Uh, should we um, do the bubble in here? What time is it, Dungeon Master? Uh, it is just past midday. Yeah, it's pretty early. <laughs> it's far too bloody bright for how I'm currently feeling. <laughs> uh, let me check. <laughs> let me check my arcane recovery. Good news, there are sinkholes you can climb down into. Oh, brilliant! That's a fantastic idea, Dungeon Love it. I'm gonna just look straight at the fourth wall and say no. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes, Vitericus will attach himself to funeral detail and commit the dead to Dasha. Yeah, Dags will help lift, dig. Yeah, and the, the surviving Duck. pikemen are working with you to. Mm -hmm. uh, well, should we? I is... feel like a cremation would probably be better yeah. given the circumstance. Uh, they are actually uh, in the process of building a cremation pyre. A pyre, yeah. yeah. And the bad, um... but they will definitely ac accept help because that takes a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it yeah. takes four hours, a lot of trees in here. Yeah. I guess I can get a meditation in. Mm. We've got the we've got the carts though. They'll, yeah. they'll provide yeah. us some wood. And the good news mm. is the trees around here are all actually quite dry, um, mm. so they Dead will burn tender. very well. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's up to you, Dungeon Master, if I can get four hours in. Good. Yeah, I, I'm happy to say that, and you can all take a short rest during this also. Um, mm -hmm. And what a short rest do again? Or, you can roll a hit dice. Yes, you can roll yeah. hit yeah, dice yeah. if you're missing health. Yeah, I wish to do that. Um, um, 
I'll Song of Rest and make that the funeral dirge or whatever, so everybody gets an extra D whatever I get for Song of Rest. Cool. Hey. Let me just quickly check that, because it's not a D10. Uh, it is a D10. Ignore me. So everybody gets yeah, an extra not? D10. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Wow. And, on top of whatever you use. And some abilities are, you know, restored with a short rest. Um, so... I'm not sure whether that applies to any uh, paladin abilities or not. Mm, uh, yes. No, I don't believe so, unless it's like some feats and traits and whatever. Uh, uh, you actually uh, get your channel divinity. 13 hit dice. Channel oh, there you divinity. go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of hit dice. I actually, yeah. So I many. Have, I do have a lot of hit dice. How many am I allowed to roll or how many should I roll? As many as you want. Um, yep. Don't forget, you also have lay on hands. I don't know how many you used on. What's his face? I, yeah. Um... He only needed, like, one. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, I've got lots. Um, so what was what was yours adding, Vidi? D10. Take an extra D10. My hit dice gave me 58 hit points back, which is nice, because I only needed 10. So that's 14, and then an extra D10. Last time I looked at those things, I only had three. <laughs> which is nine, so 14 and nine. Uh... Yep, you get one hit dice per level. One mm -hmm. hit die uh, the, the hit dice should automatically add to your health, and it then did. The, the D10 shouldn't, so add your 9 yeah, in, and so that's all you need. Nine, you go there we go, and that's that's close enough. Mm -hmm. I am Gucci. Um, right, should I try this thing as strong as I can? No, or take uh, it easy. Let's give him an out. I don't know if you're being sarcastic, but there he is. <laughs> but Erica sighs and raises his hand. <laughs> Was he high him? Universal sign for I'm being yep. sarcastic. Oh, yep. <laughs> what's he so awkward? It's a it's a it's a Warham thing. Don't worry about mm. it. <laughs> or was he high fived him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awkward or was he high five? I don't know what your human things mean. <laughs> Just aim for center mass, and I'll give you bardic for the damage on it. Okay. So they get an extra d10. The bone has to make a dex saving throw. Okay, Can we give uh, him like some kind of advantage if Mozart gives him a holy backpack? Uh, uh, like because, this is complete homebrew. Because it I mean, is it an Im immovable it's object, an object. It autom I'm yeah. just going to say it automatically fails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the spell automatically disintegrates a large or smaller non-magical object or creation of magical force. If the target is huge or larger, it disintegrates a 10-foot cube portion of it or mm -hmm. whatever you decide to do. Okay. So shall I... <clears throat> shall so, I roll damage and we'll see what happens? Uh, it is going to automatically destroy a 10-foot cube of it because um, okay. it is larger than large. Um, mm. So this beam of green light comes out. It's basically like a, a phaser blast and it eats away, uh, burns away at a good portion of this thing and f down into the ground, um, now lead actually leaving a little shaft where it was sticking out. Um, but as you peer down, you can see that there is still some more of it down there. All right, I can do it one more time. Sixth level, disintegrate. There you go. Same thing. Okay. And you uh, take aim, shoot again, another beam, and... You see it burn away, um, but it is uh, getting darker and darker in this hole that you're looking down into. Or see, do you have dark vision? I do. Yeah. In that case, you will see, uh, you know, the bone burn and burn and burn oh. until it finishes and it clears away. And you now only see stone and dirt underneath. And you think yeah, that, you've that... managed to burn away, to disintegrate this entire chunk. Of Titan that Minecraft, Bone. that Minecraft moment when you got the whole scene. Uh, scene. Yeah, I think, I think I got it. I think that's everything. Mozod's peering and down there to see if he can see any bits. I mean, unless little shards of it shattered throughout the land, which I'm sure it did. That's at least this big chunk. I'll get um, perception check from Mozod, who was looking, you yeah. know, looking to see whether there's any more down there. Quinting to see if he can spot any more bits. Please no monsters. Jump out. Fifteen. Fifteen. 
Uh, you do not see any other bone-like things down there. Uh, for oh. a moment, you you think you might see you know, uh, something, you know, sort of whitish sticking out of the hole, but then you realise it's just uh, a, a a long dead uh, tree root. Tree root. Oh, I, I can't see any bits. I think I think you got it. And uh, all of you with high passive perception becoming aware of just how quiet it is around here now. So shall we head back? Oh. Um, we're heading through? Well, I mean, we were, we we're was passing. On. We were we're go, passing we're, through. Yeah, we're heading uh, on. But, uh, our path is forward. I feel what like about... we should escort these lads at least to somewhere friendly. Uh, yeah, they're, they're... maybe at least to the pass. The captain says, well, your vehicle is pulling our cart with our supplies on it. Ah, so uh, fine, at this yeah. moment we go where you go. Uh, you're headed. Right. You're continuing through the valley, aren't you? Yeah, there's yeah. a really nice yeah. little inn on the other side. A uh, place called Fern really Glen. Really great for crying. Fern Glen, yeah. I believe, on the, uh, my map tells me. Yes, it's That's lovely. We've uh, trauma bonded there before. I can. Uh, I've got a coin from the company. I should be able to find a beast of burden there that can uh, we can hitch our cart to to take us back. Least a couple of them, I think. We can we can give you a gold for a horse. He says, "Oh, don't worry about it. The uh, I have coin, and the company will cover it, the expense." They bloody and, better. Uh, thank you very much for your assistance. I have no doubt that without it, we would all have died today. And oh, thank. We would have failed utterly in our attempts. Thank Moore's order and brew and luck for all that yeah. radiant holy magic. Hmm. Yeah. He uh, looks at Morzod and says, ah, You might have converted me, brother. <laughs> he does that. Well, um, it says, to, uh, It is now getting late in the day. Mm. Uh, you're quite late. You're actually getting into. Uh, uh, yeah, it'll be, be almost evening. Yeah. Right so oh, it's... especially because it's wintry. So, yeah, it'd yeah. <laughs> be getting mad dark. We Do you have daylight savings in fantasy Australia? No, no. please, God, no. <laughs> no. This, this is something I can control, and I will yeah. therefore say there is <laughs> no such thing as daylight fantasy. savings. I had a feeling no that that's savings. what you were going to say. If we booked it, we still wouldn't get to Fern Glen, would we? Uh, no. Be before, Not with the car, yeah, no. I shall move okay. you back yeah, no, to where that map. Reduced speed. Well. Yeah. So, if you'd like to sleep in the bubble, that's all I can offer. The bubble yeah. is, is more than we could expect without you, Aussie. It's it's a it's a good thing. The so captain says, apologetic. Don't captain be says, apologetic about that. Will this bubble of yours? Will this bubble of yours fit my men? Hey. No, Aussie I don't is, think it will. Will. Left alive. No book, it's oh, definitely not gonna fit, fit everyone. Uh, we get real cozy. No, I, it has it has like a like a people limit. limit. Yeah, right. Yeah, Layman's tiny. It's a tiny hut. Okay, how hmm. many boys are there? How many boys? Not many. Uh, five are surviving. Oh my god, it can fit nine people. Yo. All right, let me just <laughs> take a quick. Just look. kill off another one if you have to to make it. Fuck. No, we have to have a guard. We'll just set someone on guard, so we'll rotate through. Yeah, oh, that can right. actually work because uh, oh, there are great. there are oh ten of God. you, including the That's captain. Uh, but terrible, if, but also yeah. kind of perfect. Oh. So it's going to be. Uh, it's cozy in there. Actually, it, does it say nine people or nine other people? It says nine creatures of medium size or smaller. Nine. Oh yeah, because it's a. Yeah. It's going to be it's ten foot radius in mobile dome. Okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, the captain. Uh, once you explain how this spell works and what kind of projection it provides, he is uh, quite happy with this. Um, he arranges. Uh, so he and the pikemen are going to take uh, the watchers for the evening. Okay. Um, and they will be in pairs keeping watch so that um, in oh, case okay. one of them 
should fall or go, or go mad, the other yeah, can run. Yeah, needs a hug. The other can I, I run think we screaming definitely want a buddy into, system anyway. Yeah. Uh, Glow will also <laughs> flit about at night too. I mean, okay. She's out, but... In that case, give me uh, mm-hmm. perception checks from Glow, please. Perception checks with advantage because she's an L. Not twenty for twenty-three. Good job, girl. Okay. Um. So you are not disturbed during the night by Glow saying, you know, oh no, oh no, help, there is something horrible happening or anything like that. Oh, great. Nice. It can't get much worse. Did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, from the only place where you can be attacked, which un- is underneath the dome, a purple worm breaks I was through. Gonna, I was going to say, Tremors, let's go. Okay, so- I'm going to have to throw a purple worm at you one day, aren't I? You, I just, like, she wants I want one it. So badly. She list. wants it so bad. I love what? purple worms. She's gasping for it. Or an ad- Antipodean <laughs> alternative to a purple worm. Yeah. Mm. Brew up something horrible and, and flavorful. Mm. Yeah, I'm anyway. sure the Outback has many toothy worm leaves. Velvet worm. Oh, happening. make it like a daintry velvet worm. <laughs> just a big, but just a big Enormous and terrifying. Okay. And cute. Yeah. So. Uh, you are all able to get a, not necessarily a good night's sleep, but you get a nice sleep. It's in tight this... in there. We're all, we're all touching. <laughs> um, Sorry, it's cosy. Mozart's okay very with cozy. the people pile. And you are therefore all able to press the long rest button. Yay. And you are not, interf- are not interrupted during the night. Um, the guards all, uh, take their walk. You know, take their shifts on watch and report nothing, nothing unusual happening. Uh, there are one or two moments of panic when they realised, oh, it's just that owl flying about with its weird mm. glowy eyes. It's just glow. Um, oh, jeez. And the morning, uh, the morning comes, the sun rises, uh, you wake and the valley is still eerily still and quiet. As opposed to eerily alive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, during I the evening, this. Mm. I might just pop out and check in with Dasha. Okay. So how do you, how nothing, do you nothing do? in particular, just just a, effectively a prayer, right? Like, same as I, I would always summon Fane. Okay, go ahead. Um, and, and just be like, hey, so, good news. Uh, we think we've gotten rid of most of... The one at the Blood Lake, um, if not all, but we'll say most for now. Um, also, but... some 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 people in need of rest and quiet headed your way. <laughs> and uh, she says, um, <clears throat> "Yeah, she does reply." Uh, and she says, "I cannot see any. So- I cannot see all souls. Only the ones near me." It's true, but I sent them your way, so we she shall see. She says, well, I, in that case, I hope I will be able to help them. Mm. Excellent. And that's it. Nothing nothing major. Just just a quick check-in. Um, and then back to bed. Uh, the, the guys on guard will just see me flipping cards and muttering to myself. Cool. Mm. Uh, so the morning rises. What do you do? As Get soon the as fuck out of there. <laughs> as soon as as soon as as soon as Orsi wakes up, oh man! As soon as he leaves the bubble, it'll pop. He's gonna sit in there for a while and wait for everyone else to wake up. And then as soon as he stands up and leaves, the bubble just pops like a soap bubble. And assume right. and it was climate controlled in the bubble. So as soon as the bubble disappears, you get a much cooler, uh, fairly chilly morning, sort of ten degrees. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nippy. Uh, right. As soon as I'm awake, I press a digitate the smell of puke out of all of my clothing and my mask, which I did not do before we went to sleep. Uh, oh, the bubble! That thing in the horrible <laughs> in the bubble. Okay, it was climate controlled. I bet it's perfumed as well. If you need any mending, I can do that. I think it was. It, can you mend? Like, I feel like all of the, yeah, it was all <laughs> if up you here. think I could mend psychological problems? Do you think I'd be this way? Good point. Yeah, exactly. All right, shall we push on? Are we headed to Fern Gallery? 
Fern Glen. Yes. Sorry, we're not going to Fern Gully. <laughs> <laughs> We've been to Fern Gully. It was stressful. There was a hag. It's, it's the fern and then the letter G and the L. Like yeah, me. I mean, look, if if uh, if Hexus was there, I don't think I'd mind. Um, Tim Curry because he's some great. sexy sludge. Yeah, mm-hmm. love, we love Tim Curry making we pollution do. sexy. Fern Glen. Glen. We're headed to Fern Glen, right? Yes. 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 How long? I mean, we're literally like halfway through the path right now. Yeah. So for me, so how... uh, it's only about another eighteen miles to get to Fern Glen. You'll get there. Uh, you expect you'll get there early to mid afternoon. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll do we'll do that then. Yeah, we do that. I guess while we leave the pass, we'll just keep our eyes open for exploded. Yo, did Tetsuo have any loot? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. No, there was. Yeah, I feel no like loot. he probably. I don't want to stick my hand in there <laughs> to find out. It's, it's, it's certainly it's true. nothing pinyarded out of him. Mm. Uh, it's. A question. I mean, that would have been so fun if more sort of hit him and just like Betty. <laughs> Candy. And like a party, like a brrr. If it was Doom, he would have turned into bullets. <laughs> bullets and health. Oh, funny. I could have got yeah. some more arrows. Waterlands just pop into guns. Mm. <laughs> guns that shoot more guns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, so we'll I just. Love Mr. Uh, um, actually, while we do the. Um. Aussie, can Aussie do the spell again to to, to just check on Becky? Still the same spot, I suppose. Yep, it'll be the, the same result. Yeah, okay. Cool. Guys, right. list has not gone anywhere. Okay. Unless anyone wants me to scry on anything, let's just push forward. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can scry and drive. <laughs> I don't really you can't have scry and to... drive. No, don't scry well, and drive. Nothing. So, well, I don't have anything I need to scry on, so let's just push forward. The Was survivors. anyone doing anything interesting? Not even Ezid? Yeah. No, he's going he's gonna to find out one day. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> mm, good point. Good point. The... Do we know any messy drama bitches that we could scry on? That'd be good TV. I mean, Pavat's dead, and... Yeah. My favourite show. Know. It's the middle of the day, so... Cass is going to be at work, so it's not fun either. So that's about it. And then there's us. Oh. Yeah, that's... And then there's the other one with the face paint. The other one oh. with the face paint. How about... I mean, that is a messy drama bitch, um, but... Mm. <laughs> yeah, but she looks back, and I don't like that. Wet well, zombies. Can't oh! Me now. Okay, and so I had... I was seriously going through my mental list of, like, people with face paint, and that's a big N-O from me. That's fair. But if you do want drama, I mean, scry on her. It will create Yeah, but drama. I'll I'll be doing the scrying, and then she'll look at me specifically. Mm, good point. And, like, that's your business for Tara, because if you want to do that to yourself. Not really. Um, I'm going to keep an eye out for cassowaries. Okay. <gasps> Can you still talk to animals? No. I guess we'll find out. There was a lot of brain damage over the last sort of day or so. It, it may have shaken loose. You're doing pretty well for it. So, uh, I'll get a... Thanks, Dagmar. As you make your way through <laughs> Mercer's Pass, can I get a perception check from uh, Vitericus, please? Uh, 25. 25. Oh, wow. No cassowaries, in fact. There no are birds. no, no animals. No, no life anything, at all yeah. In Mercer's Pass. Probably for the best. The next um, time one of you passes out, I have something that I'd like to try, I think. That's a cryptic opening statement. It's not something uh, you want to hear from a wizard. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, like this is... Just, listen, yeah. listen, 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 listen. So lightning can bring things to life, right? We all know that. That's fact. But do you think if I gave you, like, a microdose with both of my hands, I could sort of jumpstart your hearts? I was just I about... Never stopped. I was just about to make a Sherlock reference, and then you just... <laughs> okay, all right. Wouldn't our hearts have to be stopped before you could find out whether that was? Sorry, out? I said pass out. I meant die. Oh, oh I mean... yeah. If I'm dead, do whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm just saying. I just want to throw it out there. Well, because it looks something. Because Morsel got all messed up in the head, and he's our paladin. If he goes down, we're kind of fucked. That's true. Well, we've got a bit. Well, you're always in something's mouth for Tericus. I can't. Mm, good point. Or your hands get swapped with your feet. 
And what are you going to do? Touch us with your dirty yeah. secret fingers? What, Disgusting. What, what the actual fuck was that? We didn't really talk about it, did we? I don't think well, we need to. We don't talk about the incident. Thank you very right. much, was it? Fine. That's so gross. Anyway, so I'm just saying, just like if one of you goes down, if you just give me, like, verbal permission. Just I mean, yes. if, if I'm... If, if I'm, I die, you may experiment yeah. on my body. Specifically, if Morzord is also down, I'm just going to rub my hands together and see what happens. Yeah, look, I mean, please that's, do experiment with a view to bringing me back to life. But hmm. Why don't I feign death tonight and you can give it a go? <laughs> what if the actual death's you, though? Yeah, what if I accidentally kill you, though? I mean, you can't do anything about it. Ah. Yeah, I'll be yeah dead. but then we're, then we're down a viddy. We've got Revenge hey, that... 5. And do we have a diamond? Do we have diamonds? We have a diamond. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, no, before I. Before I. Uh, <laughs> Hang on. Diamonds, before we start fucking... diamonds. Yeah, before we, we got start a new diamond project. since we gave a diamond <laughs> to. Right. Uh, Bainoth one, right? I was going to say, all his, all his starting medicine. I stocked up in the break. I brought the one that I, I had at home because I thought, well, geez, you don't want to be. Okay, let's not waste again. that diamond then. Okay, let's. Oh, yeah. I assume we're at Fern Glen by now. Yes, uh, eventually <laughs> the, the Baron wastes, uh, the Baron twisted landscape of Versus Pass uh, starts to transform back into uh, the green hills and forests of uh, eastern Keldreth. And eventually, uh, coming into mid-afternoon, you see uh, Fern Glen again. You see the, the uh, wooden palisaded uh, hamlet, just a, a fairly small town, um, <clears throat> uh, multiple columns of uh, chimney smoke rising, uh, being midwinter. The... Um, a uh, couple of guards see you, and uh, one of them seems to recognise you. And, hey. Um, as you get close and says, Oh, it's you lot again. We, Hello. Once again. Hello. Hello. Sure you're not, uh, I mean, but once again, not, it's my job to tell people. It's my job to tell people, don't go east through Mercer's Pass, so I'll do my job. Don't go back the way you came, but... You're here we in one piece, so have some good news on that front. Actually, well, we yes. fixed it. We may have. Don't spread it too far yet, but and Captain we... Verdini immediately says, uh, "We may have uh, found a way uh, to protect ourselves uh, from the from the past and the future, um, but we will. Uh, we, we should still advise caution uh, for others while we." further experiment with uh, uh, the magical wards that we're developing. Yep. It occurs to me that nobody is going to fucking believe what happened in there, even if we tell you. <laughs> well, you have to zone of truth us, won't you, Morsa? We can't do that anymore, can you? I can. Oh, perfect. Then well, there we go. Everyone will believe us. Nobody believes any of the things we do. That's because yeah, and then they come about up with it. Weird things that we did instead. Anytime a bard sings about something, it becomes legend, and then no one believes it anymore. And anyway, the guard waves you through. <clears throat> um, and you enter uh, once again, Fern Glen, a small town, um, uh, population only a couple of hundred. Uh, oh, what, was, what was it called? The inn, the pair, and pair. Uh, the puzzled pair. Puzzled pair. The puzzled yeah. pair. Yeah. With a little. Has a great bathhouse. The sign Very has a little, just mm. little. Uh, drawing of a pair with a pair of eyes and a question mark above it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't remember, oh, I remember when we came through the it. first time, we, I introduced uh, David to the, the lol what pair because he'd never seen it yes. before. Yes. And I'm like, well, let me let me introduce you to what? some internet heritage. So what What's time, so it's like, it's midday now, right? It's, it's about it's Afternoon, about afternoon. Like, afternoon, yeah. My afternoon, cool. Right, so we shall we drop these guys off here and continue forward, or shall we stay here for the day, or...? I think we deserve to stop and have a bath and... I mean, we don't have to have a bath here. Oh, oh that's you true. Get, you've, got, you've got the mansion Because you, we, had, yeah, a way, yeah, cause we had a rest. I mean, that that's is right. far, far away and beyond way better than... Uh, yeah, than this place just has a tub. At right, last twenty-four hours, we can we can hire a room and put the door in the closet. 
That's don't, kind of funny, actually. I like yeah, that. Yeah, don't don't think yeah. too deeply into that one. <laughs> well, yeah, it's up to you, lot. So, if you would like, we'll all, all climb into the closet together. <laughs> Everyone, get into the closet with me. <laughs> so, we would like a single room, the smallest one you have. Yeah, yeah. cheapest uh, room, please. So, first of all, Captain uh, Vadini again thanks you for your help, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, he says uh, he well he basically asks around and find that finds that yes he will be able to pay uh, for a beast of burden to make their way back and uh, the only question he has now is he's talking to his troops about whether they are going to return via Mar Mercer's Pass he wants yeah. to uh, as much as he doesn't want to uh, he thinks that to uh, verify that the mission is completed they should return that way. This guy is a seriously dedicated company man. Holy fuck. Yeah, They're paying you well. Um, he says, quite well. I'm seriously thinking of retiring after this. Oh, well, you should. Oh, cool. Don't let us stop you then. You should. I mean, be, do you... be careful though. There are also quite large potholes and like. I don't know. So I have a question, Dungeon Master. With yep. Goldag gone, did the Chaos Beasts cease to be, or did the magic holding them together simply cease, and now there's just bits everywhere? Um, they didn't cease to be, they just died. Because it was, so there's yeah. still icky so there's around evidence. there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because it was uh, essentially the will of Goldag that hold let, them together. let them function. Um, right. Despite their twisted, they shouldn't. Uh, they shouldn't have been able yeah. to. Just so as, it's going to be yucky in there for a little yeah, bit. Just as the pile of meat that was good. Yeah, it's going to need had some no, shoveling. Had no business having any semblance of life about it. It was just by mm. Gordug's will that it functioned. Perhaps the company can maybe hire some druids. I don't know if they work for coin, but maybe some druids can get that Mercer's Pass kickstarted with a little bit of grass or something. And whatever it is they do. The captain looks around town and sees um, a little gazebo at the center with a statue in it and says, Well, that looks like a sta uh, shrine to Val. I might have to. Right, actually, there is a druid here. He's a furbolg, I think. I spoke to him once. I don't suppose you remember his name. <laughs> uh, I've packed all my notebooks away, I've, unfortunately. My notes Please, say uh... Orsi knows the name. <laughs> April has quite literally packed her notebooks. Um, uh, Hersalor. 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 That's it. This is, oh, I'll have a word with him. Uh, that sounds like a lovely project for some druids. And it'll also perhaps put the company in better standing with people if they're hiring druids. I'm just making it sound like an oil company is hiring, like a green company is like a. <laughs> Like you a, sure like are. A, like at first. And then all sorts of horrible things wrong. today. I also love the way you say druid, because every time it's just dripping with disdain. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like druids very much. You know, you probably don't even have to pay them, Captain. You just tell them that Mercer's Pass is ready for regreening and they'll fucking go on their own. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can tell them that. it's The spookies are gone. Get in there and grow some uh, There's a trees. whole stretch of trust. land. With no flowers. Not a single grass. Or something. Not a single grass. He says, oh, I'll, I'll try that and see what happens. Thank you. And he uh, vanishes, you know, heads towards the gazebo to track down Hersalor the droid. Hope he doesn't anger the gazebo, though. It's not our problem anymore. Until uh, it is. So, uh, if you want a private room at the tavern, it's one gold piece. Oh, no. Oh, heavens. <laughs> How will we ever? Mm. We'll uh, or will pay. Please, it's on me. <laughs> and uh, other services in the town are there's a smithy and a general store. Mm -hmm. uh, should you wish to make use of them? Um, there's probably no chance of, like, health potions here, is there? No, this is not a place that sells magic. It's a little items. place. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, well, I can set the mansion up if we'd rather do that. Yes. Please. All right. Yes, please. You've ruined the real world for me. I never want to spend any more time in it than I have to. <laughs> I do love my magnificent mansion. All right, Orsi will sit down with his little idol and portal and cast Orsi's ornate 
O word. Still haven't, yeah, still haven't thought of I still haven't word. thought of the third O word mentioned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking of an ossuary, but I'm not a necromancer. No. Mm, so well. <laughs> if yeah. I was a necromancer, that, that, that would be would fantastic. Be, it would be a pretty banging uh, aesthetic, though. You've seen the church that's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kut yeah. Horror. Yeah, Kut Horror. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Orsi's Ornate shame... Outpost. <laughs> mm hmm. Now it's it's none one. of us are yeah. into uh, opium. It could be a lovely little den. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know he's not into opium. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I, I don't know if that's really that uh, outlandish. Um, not anymore. Out Outpost does make it sound like uh, Borderlands. Ornate Outpost makes me think of like a really nice yurt. Mm. <laughs> it is well, a nice yurt. The right on the top of a, a mountain. Mountains it's a glamp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, we cast that, and you go through the long walkway of all the four mm -hmm. seasons. It takes like ten minutes to get there, but here it is. Yeah, gorgeous, mm. beautiful. Oh, and Dagmar will keep walking into the bathhouse. <laughs> yep, there she is. She summons food from the air and keeps going. <laughs> uh the the Big staff flamingo brings her Lilo. Food. Yeah. yeah. All the all the all the marble elves serve yep. you food on silver platters. Actually, I want a cassowary, Lilo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna go into the hot room for a scrape. Uh, sure. We'll you can do that. In there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just have the marble mm -hmm. boys do it for you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, I wasn't gonna make you do it. Uh, I I wasn't I wasn't offering. No oh, good. And as our heroes uh, relax in. Orsi's magnificent or ornate mansion um, yeah, in stark in contrast to how their first uh, trip through Mercer's Pass ended. Uh, this is where we're going to finish tonight's session. And uh, for once, I can actually remember to announce that uh, for defeating a god, our heroes <laughs> are le have leveled up. Oh, God. Ah. There's the loot. Level 14. Yeah, level 14. That's it's, better um, than sticking your hand in a god. We're using a, a milestone, milestone based uh, progression system, and defeating a god is one hell of a milestone. That's a, that's a pretty. I have to say. That's a. Mm. So, it's just a really good training. Live. <laughs> uh, so Before we will we be. Get the god eater. We will be back, uh, hopefully, in a week's time. Maybe not. One of our players is actually moving overseas uh, to live and to work um which would be great excellent. but they and they the plan is that they are going to continue to play with us uh remotely um but uh obviously when you are uprooted to your life like that there are uh always potential complications so we hope to meet again next week if not the week after uh so thank you very much for watching and we'll be back soon bye <laughs>